Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Trailer Court Report. This is episode three. People have been real excited about the show. Uh, episode fun and two just uh, aired a week ago, and they already get lots of emails, lots of regular mail. I mean, look at all this mail in like a week we've got. And uh, have a lot of questions. People comment on the show and they write in. Uh, we'll get to some of those. Fan mail. And uh, be reviewing a movie this week and some other fun stuff. So, Harry from Zanesville, Ohio writes, What year is your motorhome? Good question. Chris from Liberty, Texas writes in and asks, What's it like to live in an RV, loser? Darren from Ferndale, Washington writes in, does your RV stink as bad as your web show? So there's some of the questions, and uh, I think we made a little video that'll explain some of the answers to those questions. We'll get to that now in this new segment we're calling What's it like to live in an RV loser? So here's the 1982 Pacero. Let's go on inside and take a look. Just a simple entranceway. Go, uh, I guess, take a look at my son's room first. Told him to clean his room today. Looks like he did pretty good. TV, games put away. Uh, down this hall is my guitar collection. A lot of his books he likes to read. A lot. Picked up a couple TVs. We can never decide which thing to watch. Uh, down this hall is the master bedroom. And my round bed. I like round beds. This tiled hallway leads into the driver's quarters. Got two cabinets, chairs, AC, sun visors. Uh, this leads back. This is just storage right here. Got it locked up just in case. This hallway doubles as a bowling alley just because uh, I got to maximize space in an RV. We'll head back here to the guest room, guest quarters. Just a guest room, simple in case anybody comes to visit. Sitting room, my Ming vase. Uh, it's a bathroom. I like this shower that slid open. A uh, hot tub lit from above, of course. Kind of a little painting behind there. Steam room. Uh, down this hallway, which is really hard to keep waxed and keep looking nice. Uh, let's go up these stairs. Try uh, this other room. Oh, wait, let's not finish painting yet. Uh, the kitchen. Some old cabinets, utensils. Another uh, cooking space over here, double oven. And I built this wine rack because I like wine and I have guests over, they like it. Uh, dining room, table service for uh, 27 for myself and guests. Uh, this room I had to get approval from the DMV to uh, put three windows in the back of the RV here. For some reason they wanted to be involved. Uh, head back here to another living space. This couch is nice. I should do the show from here, maybe. Uh, this room's nice. Has a lot of pillows for watching TV. And then, uh, of course, the stairs and uh, flowers there. We'll head back toward the exit. This is where I usually uh, do the show from, right here by the exit, in case somebody comes over. And we'll head back outside. So, as you can see, the type of life is pretty rough, but uh, you adapt in your ways. So, this time we'll get to the movie review, and uh, in honor of 100 years of film, we're going to uh, review the movie Cabaria. It came out 100 years ago today. This movie review, honoring over 100 years of film. The movie Cabaria. 
came out in 1914, 100 years ago. It's a black and white film and uh, lots of interesting images and uh, it's also a silent film and it's been edited and uh, translated for English if you want to watch it on YouTube or I think you can find it elsewhere. Lots of interesting images and plot scenes. One of the top movies in 1914, definitely worth seeing. They all pray to the big moolah here at the end to save themselves. All right, I hope you can take time out of your busy schedule to watch that film. And now the uh, Five Jerks production company. So that's kind of an inside family joke amongst my family. And uh, here's why. So my sister Heather was going to uh, Element 11, an uh, event in Salt Lake City by Salt Lake where they build big uh, Burning Man type structures and burn them, dance around the fire, celebrate art. Here's actually a photo of Heather here dancing by the fire. And I thought it would be funny when they left to just wave them off like a cruise ship. And then I made a big sign that said, bye jerks, as we all waved and said goodbye to them. So it's kind of an inside family joke. And among my family, you'd be honored to see the sign and uh, be around your family again. All right, that's it for this week. Uh, so we'll see you next time on the Trailer Court Report. Mm -hmm.